Well, the Canadian Arctic, it's one and a half million square kilometers of archipelago. It's very difficult to get to, and therefore the only way in is by plane or by ship. It's an incredible otherworldly place filled with raw landscapes that are so vast that they make you feel really, really small. And I start to realize that if I'm going to ever really truly paint the wildest places in Canada, then I'll need to go north. My name is Corey Trepani. I'm an artist, filmmaker, and I guess explorer as well. And so 2006, that's when Into the Arctic was born. Initially, the plan was three expeditions, uh, each minimum of a month in length, because the challenge just to get up there is, 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 takes time. And it takes time to really get to know places too. And so you don't just drop into a painting and leave. You've got to, for me, I have to experience it and live in it. And then uh, the idea was an expedition in the fourth year. And that first journey of into the Arctic was two and a half months in length. And my wife and daughters, we got a big RV, 27 foot. Our daughters are now seven and 11. And we drove across Canada, headed to the Western Arctic, and then we went well beyond. I think it felt wonderful to be able to expose our children to a different kind of way of life. Thank you. It's amazing how good things taste while out camping. Especially Jonah's camp coffee, that we enjoyed as much for its warmth as for its flavor. I enjoy painting in any weather, but with a fog as thick as soup, I couldn't see anything outside. I would never have guessed after all my planning that my first painting above the Arctic Circle would be from inside our tent. Time came for the third expedition and things got hard. And this plan of three expeditions, three years, I start to really sense how big the Arctic is. Uh, to, to live in a complete sort of wild place, that means you need to bring everything with you on your back. <laughs> we brought our cameras, our sliders, our jib, we brought everything, including all the painting gear, of course, which is the first 25 pounds of my back is painting gear and it was brutal. We got maybe a half a kilometer at a time. Didn't get quite as far as we'd hoped. It's been a long hike with uh, the weight on my back. Um, and realizing every step we take here counts. Twist an ankle crossing that river, it's a big emergency. Everything becomes a big emergency. But putting yourself in that situation sort of causes you to dig deeper into places that you don't normally do in everyday life. Four days into this 10-day hike, and we finally set up base camp at Mount Thor. Now I can roam more lightly and explore my options for painting this natural wonder. In the fading light, I found the scene of Mount Thor that I've been seeking, a composition that portrays this giant of a mountain surrounded by a cast of peaks and glaciers with the Weasel River winding through the foreground. My days of chasing Thor will feed a nine foot by five foot painting back in the studio as I bring other parts of my experience here into the painting. So I want to create a body of work that can really reflect the vastness of the Arctic, but also the variety that one finds all across the North. howling winds and spits of snow and and but then we'd have moments of light just kind of pop through and it'd be like elations, adrenaline rush really painting in these environments when I'm now when I finally connect after hours of looking and searching and I'm painting 
the experience of being here for me. It's not just what it looks like today, but without that experience of, of feeling it in the field, because it's the core of it. And I hope that that process will allow other people to get a little bit of that sense that I've had when I'm out there.